What are you waiting for? We often hear this exclamation when someone wants us to hurry somewhere, like to a special vacation destination, or possibly to a sale at our favorite store. It implies, get there in a hurry. What are you waiting for? If we say, what are you waiting for? The tone in which the question is asked changes the whole meaning. Advent is a special time of waiting, and it's good waiting. The pace of our lives these days is so fast that we can easily become impatient if we can't get what we want or need immediately. If the car ahead of us doesn't move as soon as the light changes, turns green, we toot. If the customer ahead of us at the grocery checkout line is talking too long to the clerk, we start to fidget, worried that our ice cream will melt. Young parents, even grandparents who have retired, can find it hard to find downtime when they can actually slow their pace. Blessedly, every year, Advent arrives, and it carries with it an invitation to slow down when everything around us tells us to speed up. These four precious weeks invite us into precious communion with the Lord. What special gift does God desire to give you this Advent? It's so easy to completely succumb to the Christmas rush, to bake, to decorate, and to shop nonstop that we sometimes deprive ourselves of quiet waiting time with God. As we enter into the season of Advent, let's just resolve to take some quiet time, 10 minutes, perhaps 15 minutes each day. It doesn't have to be long, just time enough to quiet our hearts so we may become more aware of God's loving presence in our lives. God will gift us this Advent with what we most need, Perhaps it will be the gift of letting go of a painful memory or some regret that we've carried too long, some anger that we've not been able to resolve that is gnawing at us. Let's invite God's healing presence into our lives this Advent in the waiting. Advent prepares us for the great feast of Christmas, which reveals God's love incarnate in the person of Jesus. Advent, in its fertile waiting, has the power to dispose us to receive God's love. We wait in joyful expectation. What are you waiting for?